Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com. This is part eight of our Coded UI video series. So in this part, we are going to talk about search and filter properties in Coded UI testing. So we were ignoring these search properties in Coded UI testing so far from part three through part seven. So this part is completely dedicated for search and filter properties in Coded UI testing. What is search and filter properties in Coded UI testing? So how Coded UI testing actually identifies these objects or the controls in the application's UI. So all these things we are going to discuss in this part. So in Coded UI testing, all the controls are found using the breadth first traversal, meaning the controls are compared and found using their matching property specified in the code in breadth first order. So using the breadth first order, the codes, the controls are matched and then being identified. So let's say you have a control in the calculator. So let me open a calculator here. So far we have been discussing all the record and playback using this calculator applications. So let's take this calculator application. So let's say if I'm going to identify this particular button eight, then for this particular control eight button, we have to identify with its parent and then its top parent and its control itself. So for identifying this control 8, if you could see the Coded UI test builder, if you recollect how we how we identify the control using Coded UI test builder, we go to the Coded UI test builder and then we take this control let's take 9 and if you could see here for identifying this button 9 we will have a parent control for this particular button as UI item window 1 and this UI item window 1 has one more parent control called UI calculator window so for identifying this button we have two parents so we need to first identify these two parents and then we need to identify this control, the actual control. And this actual control is identifying, is identified using its search and filter properties. So what is search and filter properties? And that's what is this topic is all about. So how this search and filter properties are used to identify each and every controls in the application's UI. So let me close this Coded UI Test Builder. So if you can see here, first thing we need to identify the parent control of the actual control. And then within the control, we will have search properties. If you recollect from the videos, we already saw in the code that there were a lot of search properties. So within the search properties, we had some control name dot properties dot name of, and the, we, we passed the actual property name to the control. That's how we, performed the search operation for that particular control. So actually we didn't write any code. So Visual Studio Code UI Test Builder generated the code for us. So how does this thing works? So let me flip back to Visual Studio. So if you can see here, for this UI calculator window, we have two search properties. So it has one search property called win window dot property names dot name. So this is the name property of the window and this is the value for that particular property. Similarly, it has one more property called class name and this is the value for that particular property, just calc frame. So here we are passing two search properties for one specific control that is UA calculator window. So the Coded UI testing engine will first identify this particular window with these two properties and that too with und condition. So if any of the value changes, let's say the calc frame does not exist. Let's say the value of the calc frame properties changes from calc frame to the calculator frame, then surely this object will not be recognized. So your test will fail. So that's why the search property alone is a and condition property right so the coded UI test engine 
will first identify the control using the search properties with this AND condition. And then there is one more property called filter properties. So please note that the filter properties are not used in Windows as well as WPF applications. So we don't use the filter properties. But while working with the web applications like HTML controls, we use this filter property a lot. So just keep in mind that there is one more property called filter properties. So this filter property are very, very helpful while identifying control which has same type of names, but it has a different properties altogether. But here the filter properties are identified using the R conditions. So even if you specify five or six different filter property to identify one specific control, then even if any one of the property in the five different properties changes, CodaDUI test engine still recognize that object in the application's UI. So that's the beauty of the filter properties. So that is the actual control identification mechanism of Visual Studio. So this is how Visual Studio identifies a control in the application's UI. So this is very, very important stuff that we need to keep in mind. So a control is identified using its search properties. So these are the search properties for each and every controls. So you can see there are a lot of uh, properties available for one specific uh, control. Let's say this is a win window and we have a name here. If you just put dot here, you can see there are a lot of other properties available like accessibility name, control names. Uh, actually, uh, if you can see here, it will tell you whether you can get a value or set a value or you can do both of it. There is one more property. Let's say I'm going to take this name. So it will, it will set the name to it. Same time, you can also get the value out from the name. Right? So getting the value from a property, we'll discuss about that later in the video series. So as of now, just keep in mind that these are the different properties available in Visual Studio for each and every controls. Right? And this property changes for each and every controls. So let's change this win window to win edit dot property names dot if you put right here you can see there is one more control something which is added like is password or insertion index absolute insertion index line relatives and similarly there is selection text selection start selection end so based on the kind of control that you're going to use the property names changes for them right great so this is how the controls are identified using their property names and we can set the value for each and every property so here you can set the value for each and every properties right so let me revert it back to win window dot property name dot I believe it was name all right so here you can set the value for the name and class name for this particular window all right so if you also recollect from the previous videos of this video series each and every control has a base class called win control and this win control has a base class of UI test control. So UI test control is the base class for all, all the controls. So this is where the controls have been identified and it has some common properties which is used across all the controls. Right? So let me close this. So that's it guys. So these are the search and filter properties of Coder UI test and also these are the workflow mechanism of identifying an object in Coder UI test. So in the next video of this video series, we'll talk more about getting a property name out from a control with Coder UI test. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.